Okay, Dad, there is an alarming trend going on in the auto industry right now. We actually uh, published, I'm going to use the word published, we published a survey. All right, we did some research here. Folks are walking away from factory orders. So during the pandemic, a lot of people couldn't get their hands on new cars. So what did they do? They ordered them. Now they've been waiting for months and months and months, and in some cases, even years. So we did some research, and Pops, lo and behold, a lot of those people, they've decided to not purchase those factory ordered vehicles. This is an interesting trend and one that has a variety of causes. I want to get your take on it. Well, apparently, apparently good things don't always come to those who wait, okay? Because um, from the survey that we did within our community, and I believe we had about 2,900, close to 3,000 responses, 37% of those people who had ordered a vehicle, factory ordered a vehicle, have canceled their orders, okay? Either, either they have grown tired of waiting um, you know, we are we are a society that likes instant gratification. And when instant gratification takes, I don't know, two years, we're not so gratified when the, when the vehicle gets here. Um, and many dealers are still trying to pull tricks on their customers that ordered cars, forcing them to take accessories that they don't want, forcing additional dealer markups on them. And so people are walking away. And I don't blame them. Pops, we are super excited. Car Edge Insurance. What is it? What do we need to know? <laughs> it's all your insurance needs in one place. Easy, simple, fast. Just give us some information. You get your quotes. CarEdge.com slash insurance. Yeah, Dad, and we are also seeing interest rates go up. So yes. that's one factor that's going to be driving people to say, oh, you know what? When I was going to purchase this vehicle, I could get 0%, 0.9%. I could get 1.9%, 2.9%. Well, now the average new car auto APR, Dad, the average, as told by Cox Automotive, the largest data provider in the space, 8.89%. That's the average new car APR. So imagine you th your factory ordering your new truck, and it was 2.9%, but now it's 8.89%. No wonder people are walking away. The difference on a monthly payment there is non-trivial. Uh, the difference is probably seventy, eighty dollars, maybe a hundred dollars a month. Um, and if your payment goes up a hundred dollars a month, if for a lot of people that suddenly becomes unaffordable, um, it wasn't what you had factored in. And on top of that, insurance rates have gone up over the last eighteen to twenty-four months. So not only will your your loan payment go up on that ordered vehicle. The cost of your insurance for that vehicle, and you have to have full coverage if you have a loan, so the cost of that f of full coverage insurance has gone up dramatically. Um, you know, you could be looking at somewhere between $150 and $200 a month swing in people's automotive budgets based on increased interest rates and increased insurance costs. And then... We, can't, we harp on it all the time, Dad. The average transaction price, the MSRPs, those have gone up materially. You don't even have to look that far. Go, go to your Google machine, type in Ford MSRP increases, GM MSRP increases. It, it's, it's all right that RAM MSRP increases, mm -hmm. okay? We've done many videos talking about automakers' purposeful decision to go up market, only produce high trim levels, and increase MSRPs, not only year over year, but seemingly month or quarter over over quarter. So you have a trifecta of things happening. And again, 2,900 responses, and you said it, Dad, more than a third yes. walked away from a factory order. Imagine you're that dealership who thought, oh man, we've got a laundry list of customers that it, it doesn't matter if, if Jane Doe doesn't take it, John's going to come right behind her and purchase it. No, a third of those people from our peer-reviewed, it wasn't actually peer-reviewed, but, but from our published research here on YouTube, mm. Dad, over a third walking away. And I think that is a story that we are going to be one of the first to break. And you're going to see later this year, you're going to see it pops. I can assure you, you're going to see Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, everyone else. They're going to say, oh, consumers are tired of overpaying and are walking away from fact. Yeah, no crap. You yeah. know, like that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, it's almost four in 10. Four out of 10 people who have who have ordered a vehicle are walking away from that vehicle, um, either when it comes in or prior to it coming in. And in many cases, 
that means a dealer is going to be sitting on that car for a little bit longer than they had expected because a sold factory order, that usually goes out within 72 hours, and the floor plan assistance that they receive from the factory on those vehicles, that becomes a profit center. If that vehicle sits 15, 30 days, 45 days, suddenly that profit center turns into an expense, okay, because the floor plan assistance covers 15 to 30 days of sitting on the lot, not more than that. And more and more people are taking themselves out of the market because prices are too damn high, interest rates are too damn high, and insurance is too damn high. So when you have three too damn highs, you've got almost 40% of the people walking away from their orders. Let us know in the comments down below what you make of this. Do you think this is just a blip on the radar? Not a big deal. You know, we, obviously there are some uh, uh, holes that can be poked in our research here, but it is some interesting data. Like, let us know. What do you think? Is this going to be material or is this going to be, eh, it happened, we move on. Pops, I'm just going to voice my, my opinion here. I think this is a bigger trend than even we're able to pick up on. And mm -hmm. I think you are already starting to see this. Go drive down your automobile row and look at all those big pickup trucks sitting there. That wasn't the case a year ago. I think we're starting to see the reality, which is people are saying, you know what, I'd rather hold on to my money. Uh, I put $500 deposit down. It was refundable. I'm going to put that money back in my bank account. Exactly. I think you're correct on that.